Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this fish tank and this filter. From a kit. Now mine's a little dirty, but um, we're going to start with a fresh one. It, it comes with the clear set for the framing, or you can upgrade and get the black. Now you'll have two long pieces, a shorter piece that would be the middle and then the two sides, and then you have two pieces for the end, and then you'll have three pieces of frame. One frame will fit inside of the frame. Now this is an upgrade that I did since I designed this kit. And it's gonna go on basically to cover that white part or that clear part there. But you can also just not use it and just paint this black. Okay, so you're gonna to need to get yourself some crazy glue. I like to use the Loctite Super Glue. I will warn you though, do not use a lot of it. If you use a lot of it, it's gonna get on the glass and then you're gonna end up having it where you can't get it off. And then it's gonna be messy glass instead. So what I would suggest, actually, I'll put it on here. Put some right on like some um, scrap paper or whatever. I gotta poke this. So now I got it unclogged. So I would suggest to put some on like something that's like scrap. And I'm gonna do the kit with the black just so you can see it better. But remember it comes with the clear and you can upgrade to the black. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to put some crazy glue right along the inside of here. And again, you don't need a lot of it you do want to spread it out um, on that edge make sure it's not on the bottom and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this here then I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna attach it to it there. And then this piece is going to attach here. This piece needs to lay down in the middle of them two, but you have to put one end in first. So for this one, I'm going to vary lightly do just a tiny bit along that edge and then just a teeny bit right along the inner edge and a teeny bit right along the outer edge Now this will probably end up sticking to my paper because I got some on the bottom of it, but that's okay because I'm not gonna see the bottom. All right now you wanna make sure you line up your corners so that they're even, otherwise your frame is not going to fit. Just like that. Okay, so now you have the bottom piece and on the newer ones, I put a little tiny dot in the middle of the bottom so you don't get it confused with the sides. Okay, now I wanna go ahead and I wanna put some crazy glue along the edge of here, here, and here, not this end. So just the three sides. All right now you wanna go in from down here as low as you can so you don't get it on there. Then you want to push it up against both. That way all three sides and the bottom is going to touch. 
once you have that done, then it's time to do the bottom piece. And if you get some above the glass, it's not a big deal because you're probably going to end up putting sand or something in the bottom of your fish tank. And if you want to fill it with um, some fake water or whatever, test it with real water to make sure you got your edges all sealed up good or put some um, tape around the edges while you fill it so that the epoxy or whatever you use resin doesn't come through. Almost forgot. You gotta do the back side of this too. And then this is to stay even with the edge. Right there. Now, if you're gonna use this part, you can put that on there like that, and then this piece, you can glue just, if I can get it down there, just slightly below it so that you have that contour, or you can go just a teeny tiny bit above it. It's completely up to you which way you do it. I like mine to be right around this frame here. So I'm going to slide it on there. Remember, you don't want to use a lot of crazy glue because what happens is when you do, it will end up leaving fingerprints of the glue or it'll dry white. In this case, less is more. Now you want to slide this up without getting your fingers attached to it <laughs> to where you want it. If you're going to make it even, then you're going to put it even. One thing you can do until that crazy glue sets is you can just take a piece of binder clip just to make sure that it does adhere properly and just kind of clip it there for a second or two okay so once you have that done your frame is on there again mine stuck to the bottom of the paper it's just the nature of the beast when you're doing it on paper um, you could do it on wax paper probably be a little bit easier but I'm not worried about that because you're not going to see it um, if you want to add your top piece, you can, and it would look like that. And the easiest way to do that is very lightly take a little bit of your glue. And this one I am actually squeezing on because it's going to go over top of the black. blot it off a little bit and then just place my black piece for the frame right on top of that inner frame and then there it is that's all it is to it to do in the fish tank 
you can fill it with your sand or do whatever you want um, put your fake fish in there I think I have a tutorial somewhere on my page where you can do some fish if not if not I'm gonna definitely be doing another one um nail polish um, stickers that look like fish are a good you know way to do it you could just kind of put them in there and kind of stick them up on different things you could take some flyers or some fish that um, are already printed and then you can you know cut them out and put them in there and everything but if you're gonna do that then you have to tape them with clear tape first so that the water doesn't ruin the ink but that's how that's done and as far as the filter goes you're gonna take all of your um, pieces and mine were already peeled but yours will come with a layer of stuff on it like this you're gonna peel these off and then again the clear comes with everything clear so if um, you're not upgrading to the black then everything will be clear and you'll have to paint it black so like these are clear which is the filter and you'll have to paint that I'll show you so you had the black and you had the clear and um, it will be solid black this has a little bit of glitter because that's what I had left um, when I did it but the one that you order will be solid black you know if you upgrade and then this is clear so what you're gonna do is take and peel all the paper off of four of them okay once you have all four of them done then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put some crazy glue right up on there just like that and then you want to put them together line them up top and bottom and front and back do two and then do two more and then line them up the same exact way We're gonna let them set up and then I'll show you the clear. Okay, now if you upgrade, you will get a square up tool for your miniatures that's in the black. And you can take that tool and you can hold it against something and make sure that it's square. You can hold it against your fish tank. You can use it when you're making drawers or whatever. It's a really nice little gadget. I actually sell a set of helper tools with these in it that are in hot pink. so. The only way you're going to get this black one is if you're getting the upgrade of the black fish tank. Okay, so there it is clear. Now, for this one, you're going to go ahead and, now that they've set up, you want to go ahead and put them together. You can also use that tool if you ordered the black one to kind of make sure you got them right there with each other.
and then you'll just put it on the back of the fish tank like that and it just looks like from looking at the front it's a filter now what I intend to do is um, put some fish and some epoxy resin in here and I'm gonna mix the sand all together with the resin first let it cure overnight in the bottom of it and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some resin here and I'm gonna go ahead and put some on here but I'll probably put a little piece of saran wrap in here much like I did the waterfall so if you don't know what I've done with that go back to the Beacon Hill under my website it's uh, I believe it's under the mountain video for the Beacon Hill so just look under landscaping maybe it'd be under there I don't know off the top of my head but I put some saran wrap there and then I'll put some of the stuff on there and let it look like it's running down in there and that way you'll see some waves in it and I can kind of paint it up beforehand but when I do it I will do a tutorial I just don't know when it'll be because the stuff I ordered for the fish are on back order so that'll take a bit now if you guys um, have not ordered the square up tools they're on my um, crafts for you by Laurie or crafts by Laurie for you Etsy shop and there's a bunch of different ones you can see the pink ones in there and then you see the square and stuff so check it out you'll like them so far everybody has um, really like messaged me about how they're helpful and stuff so I think they're helpful hopefully you feel the same way if you get some and I'm just gonna do this just so you can see what the clear one looks like okay, it's on that side I have to think what side it was as long as it fell. And you can take um, like nail polish and paint this black if you want or blue or whatever color you want and I am going to put this little black thing around in that same color pink as well so like if you like that black framing it's for a limited time it's going to be available in that hot pink that the tools are made out of which I'm not sure if you can see this, but that's the color of it. It's like clear, and then it would go on there like that. Kind of cool if you're wanting to do like a neon tank or something. So that's why I said I would do it for a limited time. All right, so that's what it looks like with the clear filter, and that's what it looks like with the black filter. And then you just clip them on there the same exact way. And it just locks in place and to get them off you have to lift it up I designed it to where it locks down in there on there so it'll stay in place and if you don't do it then it'll just slide like if you don't add this second piece it will slide but I like it with that second piece on there. I think it looks, you know, nicer. You can decide if you want to add yours or not. And this one again has the paper on the bottom because it stuck to the paper when I did it. But there you go. That's all it is. Check out the store. It's, um, Crafts by Laurie for you um, on Etsy and I'll leave the link below as well and again if you upgrade for now you'll get the little square up tool with the black set and uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial leave a like 
questions, suggestions, or comment below. If there's something that you are interested in in miniature and you can't find it, tag me or message me and I'll see what it's something I can do or not and possibly I might be able to make it. All right, thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.